I am Dr. Srichal Gajbar and in this video lecture we are going to implement twist one multiplexer circuit by using Verilog HDL language. So at the end of this session you will be able to implement twist one multiplexer by using Verilog HDL. You will also be able to write the test bench in Verilog to verify the model correctness also. So the software that we are going to use for the simulation purpose is model sim student edition. You can download the software by using the link we just provided here. It is a free of cost software, so anyone can download and write the Verilog modules. So the workflow for this session will be as follows, we will first discuss the Verilog module for a circuit which is a 2S1 multiplexer in this case. Then we will write down the or discuss the test bench and then finally we will verify the simulation results in model sim software. So before writing the 2S21 multiplexer module definition in Verilog, let us discuss the circuit in detail. So multiplexer is a combinational circuit which has many inputs but only one output and there are some select inputs and the value which is provided to the select input, particular input will be available at the output. Okay. So basically it is like a data selector circuit. So depending on the select input which is provided here this output y is connected to one of the inputs and that input will be available at the output y. So this shows the function table for the 2s1 multiplexer and here you can see for s0 equal to 0 y is equal to i0. Okay, so whenever you provide s0 equal to 0 this y is connected to i0 and y is equal to i0 in this case. And uh, for s0 equal to 1 you get y equal to i1 and this y output can be expressed using this logical expression which is equal to s0 bar and operation with i0 or operation with s0 and operation with i1. So this is the Verilog module definition for the 2s21 multiplexer. It will start with the module keyword. mux21 is the name of the module. In the bracket we provide the list of input and outputs. So there are three inputs i0, i1 and a0 and there is one output which is y. In the next two line we define explicitly the inputs and outputs by using the input and output keywords. So the inputs are i0, i1 and a0 and these are defined using the input keyword and the outputs are defined here. So the, uh, all the keywords are represented here by using the uh, bold symbol. So output is represented as output space y semicolon. Also don't forget to give the semicolon here. Then here you can, one can see that the output y is represented as a reg data type. Why? Because since the output y should store the previous value unless the next value is assigned to it. So that is why it is defined as a reg data type. Then we write down the always block. Okay, so always block is a block which is always going to get executed continuously. So it is like a while one in the C programming. So always and there we provide this symbol at the rate and inside the bracket we provide a statement. So generally inside this bracket is the OR operation of the inputs. So that is why it is equal to I0 or I1 or A0 which are our three inputs. The meaning here is that for any valid input this i0 or i1 or s0 takes this always block is going to get executed and inside there you can see the case statement. So this case statement is similar to the C programming. So case inside bracket you can see s0 which is our select input. So whenever s0 is equal to 0 and there will be two cases since s0 is a, a single bit binary number it can take uh, either of the two values 0 or 1 and these are shown here. So whenever a0 is equal to 0 for that case uh, y should be equal to i0 so that is why y is equal to i0 is written here and for a0 equal to 1 y should be equal to i1 so that is the same thing which is written here and the case block can be uh, should be ended with the end case statement and finally the module is ended with the end module keyword. So this is the model definition for 2s1 multiplexer. Now let us check the test bench for 2s1 multiplexer. 
So test bench for 2 to 1 multiplexer will also be a module. It will start with the module keyword. The name of the test bench is test mux to 1. The inputs are defined as a rec data type in this case because you want to uh, provide the various uh, input combinations of the inputs. So rec space i0 i1 s0 and the output is defined as a wire data type. The next thing is to instantiate the uh, module which we have written for the 2s to 1 multiplexer. So we have written mux to 1 which is the name of our module followed by the name of the object which is mo in this case. You can take any name whatever name you want and inside the bracket you provide the list of input and output. So i0, i1, s0 and y. Then next we have to write the initial block. Okay, So initial block is written here using the initial keyword and since there are multiple statement that we want to provide here, we write it uh, in the begin and end block. Okay, So it is a general rule in Verilog that whenever there are multiple statement that you want to provide inside the initial uh, block, you write it inside the begin and end. So that is why the line here is written as initial space begin and here you provide all possible input combinations and finally this begin is end here with the end keyword whereas this initial is uh, completed by using the end module keyword. Now let us take a look at the input combination that uh, are provided here. So three inputs are there. So i0 is equal to 0, i1 is equal to 0, s0 is equal to 0. Then you provide the delay that you want to provide between any two input combinations. So here I have provided hash 100. The meaning here is that the delay will be 100 units and actual delay will depend on the time scale. So these eight combinations are provided here. So before moving on to the actual simulation, pause the video for one minute and write down the answer of the given question. I hope you have written the answer. Since the output must store the previous value until next value is assigned, we declare it as the rec data type. Now let's see the simulation results in model gym software. So I already written the program. This is the model definition that we have discussed. And this is the test bench that we have discussed in the slides. The next part is to compile the program. So go to compile, select appropriate name. So test max 21v compile. Check whether your uh, output is correct or not. and one can see here that there are no errors and warnings so our compilation is successful so we can go for the simulation for simulation go to the library and select uh, test mux to one where you have provided the test bench so go to simulate and then go to the add to wave all items in region and the next job is to run the program so run it so here one can analyze the waveforms as follows three inputs are there i0 i1 and a0 and one output is there y so for in the first case you can see the i0 is equal to 0 i1 is equal to 0 and a0 is 0 and we know that from the function table that whenever a0 is equal to 0 whatever is available at the i0 that will be available at the y so that is why y is equal to 0 in this case take another input combination here you can see i0 is equal to 0 i1 is equal to uh, 1 and s0 is equal to 0 so what is going to happen in this case the y will be equal to i0 so that is why it is still 0 in this case in the next combination here you can see that the i0 is equal to 0 and i1 is equal to 1 whereas s0 is equal to 1 okay so since s0 is equal to 1 what should happen y should be equal to i1 okay so what is the value i1 is taking i1 is taking the value of 1 so uh, y should be equal to 1 so the same thing you can see here that y is equal to 1 in this case so uh, you can also analyze the remaining input combination and uh, 
if you observe this you can see that our circuit performs uh, correctly so the verilog module that we have written performs correctly these are the references thank you very much